I love the part where you're taller than me. <laughs> Here, I put it all the way. <laughs> so how tall are you? You six see? one. <laughs> and four foot ten. <laughs> this is us, right? <laughs> okay, okay. There we go. Good morning. <laughs> so today is a big garden day. We're gonna plant a whole bunch of stuff. Let me take you around the kitchen. <laughs> and show you the sprouts. <laughs> so good morning again. I'm here in my kitchen, um, my, my kind of messy kitchen this morning. I've got a lot going on here. Um, but I wanted to show you my favorite part of the kitchen right now, which is right behind me. Hey, buddy, we got sprouts. Lots and lots to do. I'm super excited about it. I'm going to get those seedlings out into the greenhouse and let them suck up some sunshine so they don't get any more leggy. They're pretty leggy, but one of the nice things about tomatoes is you can bury them right up to their necks and that stem piece becomes um, becomes roots. So they're really, really forgiving that way. I've got all kinds of other stuff going on today too. I've been um, soaking my okra seeds overnight as Baker Creek tells you to on the pack. I've never had to do this before, so this is brand new. So we've been soaking overnight. I've got Bowling Red Okra and Burmese Okra in these little cups. They're gonna go out first so that I can get them in some dirt and mark them and not forget what they are. <laughs> um, I've also got some stuff. This is my first year doing like direct, direct sowing. I've never done this before and I'm super excited. I've got some French breakfast radish seeds. I've got a Japanese daikon radish that's gonna go in today. This one makes me nervous because I would have thought for sure that these would just be too frost tender to put in the ground, but the calendar says it's time to put the peas in. So we're gonna give that a shot. Um, maybe doing the montrelises this year. I'm kind of excited about that. We bought some cattle panel. Um, I'm a fan girl, so I saw everybody on YouTube putting up these cattle panel trellises, and I got super excited. Um, I want to bring the garden party back, right? Like, we could have so much fun. So I'm really intent this summer on making a really pretty garden, um, which leads me to the next thing. We're going to be starting a bunch of stuff today, and... I picked up flowers for the first time. I don't usually do a lot of flowers in the garden, um, but we're gonna start for sure with some marigolds. I got brocade mix and Linnaeus burning embers. Let me chat in the greenhouse. So it is March 2021, second, the second spring of quarantine. Um, and what a funny time this has been, this last year. This is gonna be our second garden um, since moving here. I really think this house was put in our path, um, which is interesting for me <laughs> on, a, on a spiritual level, but we closed on this property in November of 2019, after, gosh, we had been looking at another house. We liked it, we liked it a lot. It had eight fireplaces and the cutest garden in the world. Just a little, little garden. Um, not much bigger than the driveway side garden that we had at our last place. And Every time we showed up at that place to look at it, there was some brand new water issue in the basement. Um, we went from seeing how, where there had been water trouble to, hmm, how recent has this basement flooded to an actively broken septic pipe that was draining into the basement. We decided not to take that place, and we loved our realtor. Um, Linda Hafner was just the best realtor for us. So neither Bill nor I were really comfortable calling over to her and saying, hey, we just, we want to back out of this offer. Um, and when we finally did, about a half hour later, 
we were online and saw this place. It had just gone up. Um, that was at like 10.30 in the morning. I called Linda back and I said, hey, can we go see this one? We saw it by two o'clock. By three o'clock we had an offer in. Um, and then here we were. We moved in, I think, I wanna say November 21st, we moved in. And the car radio, <laughs> the car radio was playing our house um, as we drove here with our cats in the back of the car. And then a few months later, bang, it was quarantine. Um, and we were all kind of okay with that because we looked at this property and we, we thought, oh, okay, there's so much we want to do here. Why don't we just start doing it? And we dug in and started putting that garden together. Um, we cleared out the berry mound, which had all this stuff dumped on it, including a tarp. There were things growing through the tarp. We got that out, uh, dug out a garden. Um, with the help of Rachel and Ricky who brought their tools over for us and here we are in the second year after having experienced it for a year and now we're we're just even more excited about this than we were before so here we are and we've expanded the garden we've added a Ruth stout plot this year I'm gonna put some potatoes and some sweet potatoes in those they're on the way um, and Starting seeds, starting seeds for beautiful things. I keep telling my friends, hey, you know, I'm going to bring the garden party back in fashion. Maybe we'll be able to do that in a few months. So spring is here. Those pretty red halos around the edges of the maple trees. Um, everything's red budding and it's beautiful. And I'm going to get the onions in today. I'm going to put up some trellises and uh, gonna start some seeds. Come on along with us. beautiful onions in. Let's see what we've got. We've got um, sterling whites. We've got copras. And then this one I just couldn't resist. That was all I was going to get. But then I tripped across red zeppelin. <laughs> and I knew I needed them in my life. Um, so these come from Dixondale Farms. This is my first time ordering from them. And I ordered the minimum and I think I've got so I or <laughs> I ordered a bundle of each, like the minimum, just one bundle of each. I don't think I realized that there are like 75 onions in here um, until right after <laughs> I had ordered them. Um, actually a couple weeks after I ordered them. So I, I called upon a friend and she's going to take some extra because there's only so much room in the garden. So I want to take some time and split off about five to ten of each of these for her. <laughs> um, she's going to come over tomorrow, my friend Jenna, and uh, take some of these back to her place because <laughs> gardens are a finite space right now. They, they tell you in the literature that you get that they're only viable for like three weeks that they can live off what they are for three weeks so we got to get them in before the end of this week i've never planted onions before um so i'm really looking forward to finding out more about this and here we go um bill has managed to clear a little bit of space over there some of the garden is still frozen good times um, he got a, a cool toy, a garden weasel, um, to get in there and kind of mix the soil up a little bit. <laughs> so that's where we're going to put stuff in. How frozen is it, husband? Like a, bro like a block, um, a big ice cube covered with dirt. Um, but not the whole thing. No. no. <laughs> 
about a third of the garden is fine and the rest of it is different stages of cocktail. They were telling us in the uh, literature that came with the onions that they go in before the last frost. So this is kind of exciting. I feel like I'm, <laughs> feel like I'm tempting danger. Um, but hey, those folks farm onions, so they know a thing or two about a thing or two about onions, right? And uh, let's just do it. I just rake things. <laughs> we shall onion this business. Today's Wednesday. It's been a few days. Uh, we did all that stuff on Sunday and just came out to see how stuff was. The onions are looking good. Had a couple of peppers pop in the greenhouse, waiting for the rest of the peppers to come in. And just keeping an eye on the edge of the trellises to see when the peas come in. So thank you for tagging along with us and we'll catch you up soon. Take care. <laughs>